Hey, so today we're going to do an In My Mailbox. Just really quickly, just go through all of these books. And first and foremost, I got this in the mail today. It's Various Positions by Martha Shabas. Yes. And uh, basically, it's from the Debut Authors Challenge ARC Tour blog thing. And I wanted to read this because I used to do ballet when I was in like third and fourth grade. And we were not that great, but I, I still I enjoy ballet type things and so this seemed pretty interesting. I really don't know about the story but hopefully it is fantastic. I've heard one bad review on it so I don't know but hopefully it's interesting. But yeah and uh, last two weeks ago I went to the library and got several different books and this is one of them live from New York and it's as told by its stars, writers, and guests. So that seems like a pretty interesting read. I love Saturday Night Live if you didn't know but yeah. And then we have Audrey Hepburn, uh, an, ele an elegant spirit, and it's written by her son. And the preface leads me to believe that it's not going to be that well written of a book, but it'll be interesting to see all like the pictures and stuff because it's like a glossy kind of pictures, pictures, and stuff like her um, passports and things like that. So pictures, pictures, pictures galore, you know that kind of stuff, but not looking too forward to the story. Just because she, uh, I don't know, not her. No offense to her because I love Audrey Hepburn, but her son doesn't seem like that eloquent of an author. <laughs> he just seems like he's trying to defend his mother, which is okay. But, um, yeah, I'm not looking too forward to anything other than the pictures. And then we have Saving Francesca, which is a really freaking good book. This is by Melina Marchetta, and I've read Jellico Room. thought it was fantastic. Read this book. Even more, even more. I think I, I, I don't know. I think there was something different about this book that was just, uh, I feel like I, I understood it a lot more than Jellica Road and loved it. And I will review it soon fully. Oh, yeah. Gonna catch up on all my reviews. And I finished that in like two days. You could probably finish it in less, but yeah. And then we have Crazy Love by Francis Chen, which is a book that I'm going through with the people of Hala is Jesus Time. We are a Bible study that goes on on Thursday nights at 8.30. EST and on vocal. I'll put a link below to that if you're interested. We're just doing a read-along with this and we're going to be doing chapter three this week and it's going to be awesome. I love this book so much so far. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much about it, but yeah, it's really good. It's about like having a relationship with God and things like that. And so it's really good. And what else? Oh yeah. Oh, I have stuff from NetGalley. I'm going to read you the titles because that's how this works. Um, First, I want to talk about Elizabeth the Queen, The Life of a Modern Monarch by Sally Bedell Smith. And I've been reading that today and a little bit last night. And um, it's really good. I like it. There's some stuff that, like, of course, they kind of keep out because, or, like, she kind of puts aside just because she wants to focus on the Queen and not the apartheid in Africa, which is a big part of history. But still, it's just kind of like a more, I guess, lighthearted look into the Queen's life. I'm assuming. Um, I'm only about like two or three chapters in. I can't really tell all the time, but yeah, it's pretty good. And then we have Ghostbusters Volume 1, and I think it's just issue one. I think a lot of the the, um, the graphic novels they put on NetGalley are just the first issue. So I have Ghostbusters, uh, Star Trek, and then I have one that's Star Wars. Um, it's supposed to be between episodes three and four, I believe. And so... Yeah, that'll be cool. I like I like reading more of these graphic novel thing. Yes, all of all of this. Um, also, I got Welcome Color. This is Chloe by Shelley Coriel. I believe that's how you say her name. And so far, it's been kind of like <laughs> I don't know how to explain this other than it just being like here is a book about a girl who somehow pissed off her friends and. Now she's kind of an outcast and she has to figure out her life and things and her crazy grandma, which is hilarious. Um, I also got two cookbooks. Oh, one's not from NetGalley. One's actually my personal cookbook. But the first one is from NetGalley and it's allergy-friendly food for families. And it's more geared towards parents who are cooking for their kids who have allergies. But I found some good recipes for people who are um, trying to eat gluten-free, which I'm trying to do because... I think I have gluten intolerance, um, but also I got Elizabeth Hasselbeck, Hasselbeck her cookbook, Deliciously G-Free, and that's more geared towards uh, cooking for your family, but also like adult, more adult kind of stuff, not like 
you're allergic to all of these things. It's more like you're just you're just gluten intolerant. So it's it's nice. It's good. I tried one of the recipes and it was fantastic, and I love it. And I, I'm trying to do more cookbooks and more graphic novel type things and more just more variety other than just you know young adult stuff, which has been a lot of fun lately. And I need to review more. I actually have like uh, I've read at least three of the Guild comic books, so that needs to be reviewed too. Just all of the reviews. All of them. Aren't you, aren't you happy? <laughs> no, I just need to find time to do these things. And that's why I'm doing this like one shot in my mailbox and hopefully it all works out. So I hope you all have a great day and keep reading.